So some voiceover doing deadlifts here. Started with a plate and a 35. Just was banging them out, just getting warm. Didn't really do a lot of stretching. Didn't really do anything on the bike today. I had a short span of time, so I wanted to make the best use of it. Uh, here I am, uh, increasing the weight a little bit. Give you a different position, a different angle. Kind of see how I'm working. This thing, it stretches your whole body. That's the beautiful part about uh, deadlifts. You get your booty, you get your calves, you get your back, you get your arms, you get your your grip. Um, a lot of extras for you when you're doing deadlifts. And this is my third, I think my final set. I was pushing it hard, I was sweating good. I had some good pre-workout. Now we move on to some squats. Uh, you see I got 225 on the squat rack. I did a, a warm up set, I might have missed it. But I banged these out. I think I did six or eight. Because I was warm already from doing the deadlifts. Um, felt I can push it good, which I did. Uh, here I am again going up in weight. I got two plates and a 35 on there. I'm going to pop these out. Because now I'm feeling good. Uh, I'm fairly warm. I'm just ready to work. Like I said, I was on a short time crunch. But I did the best I could, and it was actually an awesome workout. I got, and I actually had it wrong. It wasn't 315, it was 305. So I got 305 on there right now. Uh, yes, 305 on there. I'm gonna bang this out. You can see the weight bending. So it was a good weight. Um, I definitely could handle it. I could have went heavier. I just didn't choose to because I hadn't been doing squats that much. And my knees been a little bit ten tender. So I'm like, well, why not? But yeah, getting it in. And then here's the finishing product. The perfect shot. Mm. Wow. That was a good shot.